Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new Dell laptop. This is a Dell Inspiron 3501, also known as a Dell P90F. Those information can be found at the bottom of your laptop, bottom stick of the laptop and the reason that they have few numbers in, the name of the laptop is a Dell Inspiron 3501. The regulatory model number for this one is a P90F. So you can find them with those specifications. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can upgrade the RAM and what's the maximum capacity of the RAM that you can have in here. On the website and on the data sheet that they give you, they tell you maximum RAM is 14 gig or 16 gig, but that's actually off from reality. The truth is that this laptop, this processor, which is an iCore 5, and this motherboard can support up to 120 gig uh, RAM capacity. Maybe there is not a RAM made for DDR4 based on those specification, but it does support up to 128. I made a video how to check your maximum RAM capacity. Check that link on my video description. It's about one minute long. And with that, you can check directly. There is no program to install or anything like that. It's just a simple command line to check it out. All right. So let's say this one comes up, with, they ship this one out with a 12 gig RAM. So pretty much you can upgrade to 16 gig if you want minimum requirement for the games and some normal use will be 16 gig. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Tools that you're gonna be needing is an iFixit screwdriver set. I recommend you to grab this one, they're really handy and they have a S2 class steel. Those are really good bits. They will last you so many years. And you can get the pro version, which they will include you with an opening tool, tweezers, and many other stuff. But if you don't want to get the opening tools and you're on a cheap budget like me, you can grab a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers and cases. With these two on hand, we're going to start you know, doing the unscrewing. At the bottom cover here, you're going to realize there's a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height. But there are two screws in here that they have a C lock on them that they will pretty much, that means it will not come out entirely. It's one on each corner, this one over here and this one over here. These two corner screws, they just have to rotate them and then it pulls the case up and it does a few tiny click. Once you hear that click, just leave it like that. Do the one on this side. All right. Now we're gonna remove the rest of the screws and just put them in one pile. The screws are the same size. Again, if you guys like my videos and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel. I really greatly appreciate it. If you have any question or requests, you can also leave them in a the video comment. As always, I always try to answer them. All right, now that we remove all the screws, you wanna grab your opening tool, in this case, a guitar pick. You're going to stick it between the top and the bottom cover. Don't worry about it. This guitar pick will not scratch the case or anything like that. So you're just going to stick it right there about one or two millimeters. And then you just want to twist it towards the back. Do that to the all around. You see? The back side is open. Go to the corner, to the sides. And do the same thing in here. Just put it there. Do that. Do the front end. Once you did the front, the back, this side you can do it or just lift up from here and just wiggle it around and it should release to the tiny hooks that they have. All right, once you remove the bottom cover, now you can see the whole inside of the laptop and right away, that, and there's a little thermal of paste in here. Okay, that's weird. All right, now you, right away I can see the RAMs are right away here. These are four gig and this should be an eight gig. So that's why we have a 14 gig. RAM, at least you get a dual channel this way. To upgrade the RAM, you do not need to remove the battery at all. It's just nonsense, you do not need to. But if you want to be one of those people that they do want to remove it, all you need to do is to pull this, put your two fingers at the back of the white jack and slide the jack toward the battery and you will release the battery. But there is no point on that. All right, to remove the RAMs, it's really simple. All you need to do is put your fingers at the side of the triggers right here beside the RAMs and you want to pull them away from each other a little bit and the RAM will come out in 45 degrees, just like that. 
okay now once you have the ram in this position all you need to do is to just grab it and slide it out in the same position so pretty much grab it and slide it out the ram they do have a little notch on them right here and there's a notch right on the ram then so if you try to put the ram the other way around it will not simply go in so pretty much to remove the other one just pull these two triggers away from each other and slide out the ram this is an 8 gig ddr4 this is a 4 gig 4 gig ddr4 so actually they do tell you a dim a and dim b so you always have to fill up dim a which is on this side closer to the cpu and then you're going to fill the other one let's say you get another 8 gig to replace this 4 gig that you have so grab the 8 gig that you have in here bring it down in 45 degree angle push it all the way towards the dim and just push it towards the motherboard just like that and it's gonna push the clips away and it's gonna retract and it's gonna make a click sound and let's imagine that this is an 8 gig you want to bring it down in 45 degree all the way towards the jack push in and push towards the motherboard you should hear a soft click just like that doesn't matter if your ram dims your ram comes with a double-sided chip or one-sided chip as long as the cut matches and goes in you're fine next step is really simple and plug in the battery if you have unplugged it don't forget grab the top cover bring it over it straight and squeeze the corners down the front side make sure you hit those clicks just pinch the top and the bottom cover do the sides and the front end and first start screwing down the corners which they have a seal lock on them just squeeze and it's going to pull the case towards itself do this side and do the both side once you did that and now you can push down the back end squeeze them if you see any opening just pinch them the top and the bottom cover you can go ahead and pinch them if you see any opening and the last thing would be to just grab on the screws on the bottom cover and place it on as always i hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys to upgrade your ram for your laptop dell inspiron 3501 if you guys have any question or request you can leave them in a video comment I'll always try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video